You know, Birmingham is a great place. I was born and raised right here in the city. Uh, it's known the world over for its civil and human rights history. Because of that, Birmingham has totally embraced the Paralympic movement to give individuals who may have physical disabilities the opportunity to be the best that they could be. And that's really what the human rights movement is all about. So there's a story to tell about the opportunities that this city gives all individuals. I'm Jennifer Schubel. I'm from Homewood, Alabama. Cycling in Birmingham, you're very free. You actually get to see everything in your community. A lot of people wouldn't realize how strong the cycling community is in the Birmingham area, but we do have quite a few cyclists. Jennifer Schubel is familiar with overcoming obstacles. Not only has she endured two traumatic brain injuries, one during a training accident at West Point and another in a car crash, but 12 years ago, at age 27, the University of Alabama graduate was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. An athlete her entire life, Schubel turned to cycling to stay active. Cycling gives me a release. You know, it's a, a wonderful feeling when you get out on your bike, you're free. With MS, it's, you know, taken a lot away from me. But when I'm on my bicycle, I can still be competitive and active. Schubel hasn't allowed her disabilities to curb her ambition. She is a five-time Paralympic medalist. When she's not in the saddle, Schubel trains at the Lakeshore Foundation here in Birmingham. Lakeshore has given me the skills to be more competitive. It's a very special environment. Everybody around you is very supportive. And it's also special for me to be around other Paralympic athletes from other sports. I get to see wheelchair rugby, bow ball, I've been exposed to so many different athletes that come here and train. I feel like Birmingham is a very special place where you can find pretty much whatever you want. For me, it was goalball. 17-year-old Josh Wellborn spends most of his free time at the Lakeshore Foundation practicing goalball, a Paralympic sport designed for people who are visually impaired. Wellborn, who was born with albinism, is aiming to make the 2020 Paralympic team. I've always been fascinated with sports and I've always wanted to play football. My parents were always uh, pretty against that because of my visual impairment. But then I discovered goalball and it really made me appreciate my visual impairment. That was a good practice, you look strong. Just make sure you keep up the hard work, keep doing what you're doing, it's good work. Lakeshore is a place that gives so much to people that may not have the same opportunities as others. I feel like in the community it has a lot of support. If you haven't had Southern barbecue, if you haven't had Alabama barbecue, you are doing a disservice to yourself. The best thing about Alabama barbecue is that when you're eating it, you can actually feel your arteries start to harden, but it is so worth it. I guess for most of the other teams, it's As a military police officer with the U.S. Army, Sean Castle sustained a spinal injury that resulted in paralysis. While receiving treatment in Birmingham, a visit to the Lakeshore Foundation piqued his interest in adaptive sports. In the main gym upstairs at Lakeshore, they have the Olympic and Paralympic rings that hang there. And when I rolled in, the first thing I said was, I want to be a Paralympian. After several years in Birmingham, Castle moved to Tuscaloosa and enrolled at the University of Alabama, where he plays wheelchair basketball for the Crimson Tide. My end goal is to be part of the U.S. Paralympic team. When I explain people my dreams and my goals and all that, it's, it has to always start and end with, I was a soldier when I got hurt. I want more than anything in this world to be able to represent my country, to be able to come out of that tunnel one time and then say, United States of America, and me be one of those athletes. Goals are what makes life worth living. Lakeshore gave me that goal again. Lakeshore gave me that drive. For adaptive athletes and Paralympic hopefuls, Lakeshore has become a wellspring of opportunity. It's a movement that's taken root in a place that was once a symbol of bias and exclusion. And the foundation has helped redefine Birmingham as a city where all are welcome. I think because of its human rights history, the city of Birmingham has embraced the concept of what Lakeshore provides. 
we saw that as an opportunity to embrace a part of our community that had never been embraced before.